Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good people. Sharon, here we're back again. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes. Uh, I think this is segment number. Is either three or four? Four. Yeah. Yeah. Our, our meet the cast. Our meet the cast, and we. It's been... our fourth one. It's our fourth segment. Yeah. So we've. Uh, the, I think the last one we interviewed several other of our cast members, our primary cast, and yes. before that was uh, Pastor Beverly Crawford, and some other cast members before then, and we're looking forward to. Just spend a, a little chat time with our Easter Sunday guest artist, Lisa Noel Smith. Lisa Noel Smith is going to be with us. And uh, man, I was just looking at her video of one of my favorite songs uh, that she sings, My Testimony, which will be a yeah. part of the production. And I'm looking forward to that. Well, Sharon, the clock is ticking. Mm -hmm. We're getting closer and closer. I know. I was just looking at the calendar. Uh, two weeks, 14 days to be exact, before we walk into uh, Pike Performing Arts Center, the theater, mm -hmm. in preparation for opening night, the 7th. So we go into Pike on the 3rd, load in and all of the other pieces that go along with that in preparation. Uh, Pastor, you know, I was just thinking today, very few people have an idea, have an idea um, what it takes to pull something like this uh, together. Right. It is huge. It Facebook, <laughs> I don't, yes, it is, it is huge. Wow. It's a lot of moving parts, a lot yeah. of moving parts, a lot of people. Oh, my goodness. Well, for those of you that are joining us and those who will be watching later, uh, we are the directors of the Abundance Rock Passion Play. 40 years in the making and coming to a final curtain, uh, curtain call. And uh, we are just elated about what is going to happen Easter weekend. April 7th, yes. 8th, and 9th at Pike Performing Arts Center here in the city of Indianapolis. I tell you, the phone has been ringing off the hook all day. <laughs> People have been ordering tickets. Bus loads like of folks it. are securing their seats in blocks to make sure that wow. they get in for this final curtain call Yay. of the passion play up on this rock. Uh, Sharon, I'm just so surprised, especially in the Midwest. Because, you know, we got bus loads from Illinois, Ohio, Kentucky, Michigan mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, coming and securing their seats. And, of course, Indianapolis is in the house. Uh, oh, yeah. So we know we're, we're looking forward to that. And it's it's a bittersweet. It's bittersweet. Uh, we know that. Uh, and, and a lot of people say, are you sure? Are you sure this is the last one? I think we're pretty sure it's going to be the last one, but it's going to be a good uh, last one. Yes, it yeah. is. It is one to remember for years to come. For Let years to come. Karen. Uh, in fact, uh, Lisa is standing by to join us, and uh, we're going to have right. some good conversations. Yes. There. In fact, I've got a clip of my favorite, one of my favorite uh, songs of hers. It blesses me every time. I've been playing it in my car. Uh, my testimony. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna we're gonna feel a little bit of that and uh, get a chance to kind of chat with her and just talk about her life. I tell you, we had a wonderful, wonderful dialogue with Pastor Beverly Crawford. Oh um, yes, it wasn't it amazing how God just. Uh, yeah, I'm him. still. Yeah, I'm just still resting in that residue. Right. Right. What her? Yes, that prophetic word she gave us. This is yeah. going to be. A revival. This is it. I love that. Woo. This is going to be a revival. Just gave me chills just chills. even thinking chills. about it. But uh, I, I know this is this is it. Uh, the artists that we've got coming, uh, excited, kicking it off on Good Friday, Lee Andrea Johnson, and then on Saturday matinee, Jacqueline Carr is featured. Then Saturday night, Pastor Beverly Crawford, and Woo. then wrapping it all up. On Easter Sunday, yes. we're going to church. Lisa Noel Smith is going to take us to church. 
and we're gonna all gonna be resurrected out of Pike Performing Arts Center. I already feel it. Yes. I already sense it. It's gonna be good. I know. So I let's know. just get ready, get ready, get ready. All right. Well, we're gonna bring her on. Uh, again, our our special guest for Easter Sunday, and make sure y'all get to listen. Listen, I told y'all, don't just buy tickets for one of the performances. You got to buy a ticket for every performance because Pastor. every performance is going to have something different and unique in it. And yes. beyond the artist, there are also different scenes, uh, Sharon, that is it's going to be explosive. And mm -hmm. no, no pun intended. Well, pun intended. There's some power <laughs> that's going to happen in one of the scenes. Yes, yes. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Well, before we bring Lisa on and we spend a little chat time with her, I want us to listen, just watch this clip, just a piece of one of my favorite songs of Lisa Noel Smith. Check it out. testimony let me be honest because i should have died but thank god i survived all those times when i just went to right and day after day i can still say had it not been for you god i don't know what i would do because truth is Hello, Lisa. Yes. God bless you. Let's hey, God see. bless you. All of a sudden, we all start down on me. Okay, let's see what happened. That's all That's right. right. Now, no. we want to we'll see you right side up. up. Let's see. It's all right. Yeah, it's it is. It's it's supposed to be smart. It's not always as smart right. as right. Right. <laughs> that's, that's Let me see right. something. I'll turn my camera right. off and flip it and see if that make, if that makes a difference. Okay. Okay. We're gonna, We're get, gonna it. get it. We're gonna get it together. All right. I'm getting get that little gear and gear and if we can solve some of that problem, because we want to make sure we have some good communication going on here. He did it. God did it. He turned my test, she said, into a testimony.
turn my love it. into a testimony. I love it. Um, I Sharon, love I love her sound. It's a uh, that's a for real for real Easter Sunday going out. Yes, sound. I love it. I love it. Get your shouting shoes that's on, and what a way to church. end. What a way to yes. end on Easter Sunday by going up. Uh, Lisa, I want to let you know that the audience of Upon This Rock believe in going to church, okay? So uh, <laughs> don't don't be surprised if we when we take our praise breaks. Our praise break. We will take a praise break. Right, right. But now we just need to get her audio that. going here. Uh, for some reason, your audio is... Maybe you got a mute on your end. You're unmuted on ours. We're going to get it together. She's right side up now. We just need to hear. <laughs> We're going to be all right. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay. Not still not hearing your audio. Can you hear us? You can hear us for some reason. Okay. We're going to get it together. We need to hear from sister. We need to hear from her. And hopefully She's they also, can check both of their sound pieces. I know on my computer, sometimes I'll be muted and not really even realize it. Right. Right. I said, we got to right the side up. Ingenuity. Now we're gonna right. That's one piece. You know that. Well, I, I love that, uh, that piece that we heard, that clip that we just heard. It is so, uh, it's churchy. I it guess if, if I had to put a word to it, I loved her sound. Well, you love know, it. Love it. Lisa and her family from down south, right? Uh, mm -hmm. They're in Alabama. Uh, she was a part, actually, like of a quartet, her family, the Brown sisters. Um, and generally, yes. brothers more in a quartet uh, feel. But uh, these sisters sing. No, they sang. And uh, so she <laughs> moved out on her own. We're going to hear some more from her uh, in terms of how God did that thing in her life. And she's a songwriter. The, the song, My Testimony. Uh, there we oh, go. Wow. We got our audio back. Yes. Okay. Can you hear me now? I can hear. We can hear yes. you well. That's okay. All right. I, I logged in from my laptop this time instead of my phone. I don't okay. know. That's all right. Yeah. But God did it, didn't it? <laughs> God did it. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He did. Listen, I, I just, I was saying beforehand how blessed I've, I've been listening to that song over and over again, my testimony. Yeah. It is so powerful. But you, you are preaching your own right. Yeah, oh, I great. know you Thank preach. You. Mm. hear it in your voice as well. <laughs> so as you sing, tell us a little bit about Lisa Noel Smith. I know you began in the music, young age with the Brown sisters, your sisters. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that star. Okay, so I was nine years old when I started with our family group. At the time, it was three generational. My grandmother founded the group in the seventies, and uh, my mom sings in the group. And um, and then I started singing when I was nine, and uh, I was a little bitty girl singing with all these grown ladies. But I loved it. My father played the bass and, you know, it was just a, a thing in our family. My grandfather, both on both sides are pastors. So just raised in the church and uh, raised in a singing family. So we were on the road when I was a little girl traveling. I would be getting home four or five o'clock in the morning, going to school on Monday morning because we had to do ministry all weekend. Wow. Right. All right. 30 years later, I'm still singing with the Brown Singers and God has afforded me to do so many things that you know, outside right. of that, but just been, you know, just doing ministry for a long right. time. Right. So yeah. the Brown sisters we can hear still... it. I can hear it. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's yes. in it. it. It's in, it's in you. It's in you. <laughs> Brown sisters are still going strong, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. We are still, uh, and, and it's, uh, I, everybody thinks it's our sisters, but it's not, it's my mom, it's myself and then everybody else's uh, family that have been around. You know how you have your cousins, but they really not your cousins. Right, but right. right. <laughs> Cousin so and them. Yeah, we, we've been together for a long time now and just, uh, you know, so still doing it. My mama is still singing beside me. Here we are 30 years later. And wow. the only brown singer still traveling and singing and doing it. And she looks like my sister, but don't tell her I said that. <laughs> <laughs> we still gonna call it the Brown Sisters, all right? Okay. <laughs> they got it going on. Yeah. 
you, you, what inspired you uh, to do what you're doing today? What was your inspiration come up as a child? You know, as I stated, I grew up in church. So my grandmother, who was uh, had a voice that reminds you of Mahalia Jackson, mm. I could watch her sing and the spirit, the Holy Ghost would just sweep through. And I was saying, man, I want to sing and give God my all like that. And that's really been the focus. The focus is to do whatever God has called me to do. So I'm just inspired to live for him. And then everything else that he does, you know, that's extra. But right. I, I get my inspiration, motivation, and validation from just doing what God has called me to do. Oh, that's awesome. That That is so awesome. Well, we are, we are excited about your coming. And I, I don't want to leave this song too quickly because you wrote it, didn't you write my I testimony? I did. I did write testimony. Is it on your latest wow. album? Uh, that is on my latest album. Well, that was a single that was released. The, the album is about to drop uh, this summer. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So what was oh. behind that? That my testimony, because that's deep. Ooh. You know, it would take all day for me to tell you my full story. But what I want to say is to make a long story short is that throughout my life, I went through so many different things. Uh, a lot of it was for as a, a preacher and pastor on the other side of it. I know that it was because of my lack of obedience to what God was calling me to do. And mm -hmm. every time that I, I did something and tried to do my own thing, uh, I always seemed to have to go through some obstacles and different things. And that's just a part of life. But every time I thought the enemy was trying to use it for my bad really god was using it to work for my good so wow. every test every trial everything that i had to go through from you know i had a stroke when i was 21 and mm. uh, i was paralyzed on my left side and uh, i almost thought about you know just stopping everything and you know, I, they couldn't figure out i had a series of mini strokes uh that they said the doctor said was going to lead to what would be a fatal stroke here i am now 18 mm. 20 years on the other side of that. And My I'm still God, here. Thank you, Every Jesus. Every test has become a testimony. Ooh. I see that from a place of, I know it. I'm not I'm not telling you something I heard. I know that everything that yeah. God allows you to go through, it is for your good. Mm. For your making. Ooh. He took my test. And turned it. Turned it into a testimony. Yes, right. Lord Jesus. My wow. God. My God. That's awesome. Well, we hear it in your in your uh in your voice and your delivery. And mm -hmm. that's why we we selected that particular piece for mm -hmm. the production itself within the yeah. production. In fact, Sharon, Sharon is my sister, my blood sister. Okay. And so we've Hello. worked together for 40 years. Wow. With this passion play. Yeah. And we brought uh there are over members from over 70 churches uh wow. around. That participate various denominations in. yes various yeah. denominations yeah. that come together and we just have an explosive praise wow. team. there are a lot of passion plays lisa around the country people are familiar mm -hmm. with right uh, but mo most of them you go and they have you know they tell you what you need to do you need to be quiet don't make any noise do not clap you better not shout right <laughs> <laughs> But with, with upon this rock, we take the limits off. Oh, right? wow. but that but those are plays. Those are plays. Ours yeah. is an experience. experience. Yes. It is a literal encounter wow. of the God kind. Yes. yes. And as I'm listening to you, Lisa, longevity is what I hear. Ooh. Consistency. And so our spirits are connecting yes. because we know what that feels like to be in ministry for, for not just years, for decades. Yes. You said 30 years. 30 years. We've been in it 40 years. Mm -hmm. And then the experiences. Yes. Yes, it would take more than a day for us <laughs> to, you know, to release what God has done. But just hearing your, uh, just listening to that song and then knowing the scene that we have connected to your character in this production, this yes. uh, uh, performance, I would love to release it, but I'm not. It would be a spoiler alert. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, but it, it, it's going to, oh my God, it is perfect. It's going to minister 
to so many women. Yes. This ministry, yes, it's for men and women, but for women, yes. women that have been in trouble, women that have struggled, women that need deliverance. My Lord. Yes. Uh, yes. Women that need a second wind. Yes, you know? my Lord. They need mm -hmm. a second win. They need God to do do it again. Do it, it again. again. And I'm just getting filled just talking that to you is. and listening to your story. My God. Whew. Yeah, you're I, living, I, you you're know, breathing testimony. What's really amazing is that part of the beginning of my, my testimony was I was a young mother out of wedlock. Mm. <laughs> so, a lot of my, the beginning of my story, uh, I, I resonate with this character. Wow. I really understand. I can't wait. I'm, I'm so excited. We can't Ooh. give a lot, but I, I, it, I, I really understand what it feels like to be misunderstood. Can Ooh. I say that? I, I know what it feels like. And, and to know that God still on the other side of that. Watch, watch out now. Blessed me with a, an amazing husband, allowed us to pastor a church, gave yeah. us three, four beautiful children. Let me tell you something. God. Whew. Oh, my God. He's amazing. I'm He's, feeling amazing. It already. He's an amazing God. I'm feeling it already. Thank you, Jesus. Thank I'm you, saying, Jesus. I'm seeing the scene. I'm seeing the scene, Sharon. Yes. And I'm, yes. Scene, and I'm hearing people being ministered to in a powerful way. Woo! My God. Yeah, the forgiveness. Yeah, yeah that part. The forgiveness. Yeah. That, that part. part. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost moving yeah. into spoiler uh, a lane, and I know I'm going to leave it alone. Yeah, we we, are, we trying to, Pastor. I'm yeah. trying to, I'm trying to hold to it back. There. You need to make sure Lisa Noel Smith is going to wrap it up on Easter Sunday. Easter at Sunday. At the Abundance Rock Passion Play. And listen, mm. she ain't just going to sing to sing. She's going to she minister with a testimony. And you listen, must there's no holds barred. Yeah. Be in the house. Yeah. You gotta be get your ticket now. If you've already got a ticket for Friday or Saturday, get another one for Sunday. For All Sunday. right. Look, you, look, you, Pastor. Yeah. I, I'm so excited. I'm just so excited. As as you're talking about this testimony, and you're sharing even a part of your story, you Girl, you're going to minister from so many different places and so many different levels. You're going to minister as a young woman from that place, a single mother. Pregnant. My God, you're going to be able to minister from a delivered woman. Yes. From a woman, oh my God, that waited, waited on God. A woman yeah, that was yeah. hit physically to minister from a place of sickness. And yes, this is, yes. oh my God, I don't know what it did to your mind. I don't know where it Ooh. took you emotionally, but look at all the places and the levels you're going to be able to minister, Lisa. My Lord. Wow. Y'all get ready. And while you're ministering to others, yeah, those that are going to come into that place, you're going to be ministered to. Absolutely. Yeah. God never does a half work. Right. Oh, right. My God. It'll boomerang back. It's gonna boomerang back to you. Listen, and that's you the inspiration. Your husband. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep doing it. That's why I've been doing it yeah. for 30 years. Because yeah. every time I've gone through something in my life, all of these years, Ooh. God finds a way to take me in the middle of trying to minister to somebody else. He turns that word and it, like you said, boomerang rings all the way back to me. I'm excited. Ooh. This is gonna be amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Well, we can't wait until you touch mm. touch down in Indianapolis and yeah, yeah, get in position. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna treat you right. We're gonna bless you, Amen. Because we want you to minister the way God wants you to minister to us. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. There's so much. There, there's so much that I'm, I'm talking to our uh, those that are watching or are listening now. There's so mm. much connected with upon this rock. And Sharon said it best. It's not a play. It's an yeah. experience. And we encourage it's an people. It's an bring, encounter. Bring your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, yeah. your co-worker, yeah. the stranger on the street. Pay it forward. Somebody that won't step foot in a church. Come on. Yes. You can tell them I'm on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a ticket for you to go to a play. 
Yeah. On Easter mm. weekend. Just go to play with me. I guarantee yeah. you the very presence, of, very God presence of God and his word will yeah. lift up from the pages of the Bible mm -hmm. and find mm -hmm. them right where they are. And we yes. just heard Lisa, I mean, just with her brief testimony and she ain't even told it all, you know, <laughs> just a taste of it wow. to let you know where she's ministering from. And you yeah. know, you're in the house. I'm she's going to be on the 9th, April, Easter Sunday, April the 9th. What a wonderful way to celebrate Easter, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bring your whole family. And there's going to be some people that's going to be resurrected. There's yeah. going to be some spirits resurrected. Yeah, yes. that's what I believe. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Get your tickets, y'all. Get your tickets. Oh, my God. April 7th through the 9th. I'm putting that, uh, putting it back up there again. UTRPRO.com. UTRPRO.com. Order your tickets online. The tickets will come to your email. And listen, if I were you, I'd get the VIP seats up front. You get in 30 minutes earlier than everybody else so you can get set. Oh, 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 I can't forget this. Oh. <laughs> because 30 minutes before curtain, they're going to minister, all right? They're just going to minister as, as the Holy Spirit leads prior to curtain call. To so, charge the atmosphere. And charge the atmosphere. And what we know about Lisa Noel Smith, she's going to take you to church. My Lord, <laughs> she's gonna take you to church in, in a very powerful way. So you want to make sure that that you get in, get in the house this Easter weekend. Yes, Lisa. Sir. Yes, sir. So she co-pastors. I was gonna ask Pastor. You mentioned of uh, something about pastoring. You co-pastor with your husband? Yes, ma'am. I do. Yes, ma I do. We uh, oh, we pastor God. in Anniston, Alabama, the Life City Church in Anniston, Alabama, and um. Listen, God, who would have ever thought? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Who would have thunk it? Wow. Oh, who my God. But he's, he's specializing so in, in turning test into testimony. So I love hey. it. Yeah, that's what he does best. Oh, my God. Wow. So with you, Pastor Beverly Crawford, and now Pastor uh, Lisa, Lisa No Smith, right. my God, <laughs> we are going in for a treat. I'm just, right. yeah. So you know, just, you know, in some places I know you go, you think, okay, is this a reserved place? You know, how <laughs> far can I go with it? No, the let take the limits off. All right. I As already see it. I was just about to say, I have already christened you guys, un auntie and uncle. <laughs> and auntie is already, she already in. She okay. cannot even, we can't even talk about it without her getting ready to shout. So I can only <laughs> imagine what it's gonna look like on easter sunday <laughs> come, on. Oh come on yes yes wow well will you do a special shout out in your own words just encourage the listeners and those are watching to make sure that they get their ticket and be in the house in your own way absolutely Thank listen you. what what i'm excited about is that there is a place where we can visually see the words of the bible come to life and many of us, we can we we can hear it, but we can't visualize it. So I know that this play is going to be this this experience is going to be life changing. Get your tickets. Share this live, this conversation. As a matter of fact, I'm going to purchase personally two tickets for anybody that wants to come. You can inbox me on Facebook. I'm going to pay for two tickets for somebody to come. And you make sure that you invite everybody, your cousin, them, your mama, cousin, auntie, sister, baby, daughter, that is a mail carrier that, that keeps dogs in the backyard, everybody to come and meet us at the beautiful Pike Performing Arts Center. Uh, I'm going to be a part of that very last final show yes. Sunday. But the, the list is amazing of guest artists, Leandria Johnson, Ja'Kalen Carr, oh my God, Pastor Beverly Crawford and myself. Each experience is going to be different. Get your right. tickets, join us, meet us there. God is going to be in the building and whatever it is that you have i really believe auntie said that that people are going to be resurrected i feel it in the holy ghost already i feel what god is getting ready to do there is going to be some deliverance that takes place through the mm -hmm. life of this experience and this is the real truth this is the the money line you can't afford to miss it Woo! You just can't afford to. my god 
My God. You wrapped it up, sis. Okay. I, I didn't try. I was trying not to preach, but I was this close. No, you to did it. That's I it. know you. Exactly. That's it. You took the limits off. That's what we're talking about. Thank yeah. you so much, Wendy, with Thank your busy you. schedule. Oh, my gosh. Just chat with us. Can't Thank wait till we see you in person. Absolutely. Amen. And just worship with you. It's going to be awesome. Absolutely. Right. Thank I you all it. so much. I love you guys already. I'm praying yeah. for success. I'm gonna in prayer with you. My spirits have connected that this be everything yes. that God would have for it wow. to be for you. Yes. Yeah. Give our blessings. Praise to God. I will. I will. Right. Yeah. Lisa, right. And we just y'all. cover you. Yes. Pastor, I just want to, I just want to cover you in the strong name of Jesus and by the yes. power of his shed Amen. blood. Father God, as she prepares to make her way into Indianapolis, Indiana, I pray a safe departure, safe arrival, safe return home when it's time over yes. her children, Father God, and her children's children to yes. the 10th generation and beyond over yes. her husband, Father God, yes. over their ministry, over their health and over their wealth. Father yes. God, I speak a commanded blessing over the woman of God yes, uh, Lord. that you have that you have directed, that you yes. have, Father God, designed to be with us. Yes, Lord. To bless us. And in turn, she will receive a blessing. In yes, the name God. of Jesus Christ of, of Nazareth, Jesus. the anointed yes. word forever sanctified. Amen. Yes, so it is. Amen. Amen. So it shall be. Yes, All God. for his glory. All yes, for his Lord. glory we do yes, this. God. Yes, Lord. Oh, Thank my you. gosh. I can't Woo. wait to meet you. I can't, I can't wait to meet you. To meet I you. love you already. Listen. I owe you a big old. We've already you, met you know? her. We've already look, met her. We look. just got to hook up now. That's yeah. all. Right, right. right. I, I already told Pastor Beverly Crawford when she comes, I'm not going to let everybody uh, uh, get with her, a hug on her, but I got a hug coming from you. T- yes. <laughs> yes, yes, my right. gosh. Yes, I am so... I'm lifted. Even the things that concern me about bringing this whole massive uh, uh, production together, over 300 volunteers bring this together and you have worries and you have concerns, but just talking to you, just talking to you is right. This is right. This is right. Oh uh, my God. All right. Pastor's going to have to take the... uh, Take the mic here because (laughs) I could go on and on. (laughs) Bless you, sis. Thank you so much, Pastor Hill. I'm looking forward to it. I will see you guys very soon. All right. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's Lisa Noel Smith. Let's hear a little bit more. Let's just hear another taste. I got to hear another taste. Listen, he took my sister and he made me my best. my testimony ah, thank God. I thank you for my testimony let me be honest because I should have died but thank God I survived all those times when I just went to right and day after day I can still say had it not been for you God I don't know what I Cause truth is, I should have died, but thank God I'm alive.
Get ready. It's about to go down. Pastor, pastor, pastor. It's about to go down. They already start calling on the phone. Folks is getting their tickets. They're getting their tickets in. Thank I, I you, tell Jesus. You, and I'm not playing when I say you need to get a ticket for every night. In fact, I was talking with someone not too long ago. They said, no, I'm I'm gonna get I'm gonna be there every performance because I can't <laughs> miss it. I just can't miss it. Don't let it be said. I told you so. Wow. My God. Y'all can't do God. that. Y'all can't do that. I just got a message that they calling in talking about, can they exchange their tickets for Sunday night? <laughs> no. You, you got to get another one. You got to get another ticket. Amen. Ooh. Listen, you don't want to miss it. It's going to be good. I can't wait. We got uh, Beverly Crawford blessed us, mess, blessed us and messed us up. Uh, Lisa yes. Yeah. Done the thing. Now we auntie and uncle, and, mm, uh, mm, mm. and <laughs> we, we, we're going to be hearing from Jacqueline Carr coming up mm. and uh, Leandria Johnson. I don't know what's oh going to happen. But I don't think Pipe Performing Arts is going to have a roof. Pastor. Yeah. I mean, these are just the interviews. My yeah. God. <laughs> It's so excited. I really yeah. am all over again. All over again, Felicia Cantrell. Right. All over again. <laughs> so good to see so many joining us. And, and we're going to be replaying this, this interview as well as with uh, Beverly Crawford. We just did a replay of hers. And, uh, and people are excited. They've been calling all day long wanting tickets and people that are a little technically challenged. You know, I, I tried to go online and I just don't know. I need somebody to help. We have some live operators that are standing by. If you call the line 317-285-0551, 317-285-0551, and they can help. They can order the tickets for you online. Uh, the tickets will go to your email. All you got to do is either print it off or show it on your phone. They'll scan it at the door and you'll get in. Now, listen, I said it before, and it's important that you understand. This final curtain call is unlike any other performance we've done in 40 years. One unique thing is that 30 minutes prior to curtain, that these artists are going to minister in song. Yes. Okay? So example, the sun, Easter Sunday performance is at five o'clock. At 4.30, Lisa Noel Smith will be ministering in song. At five o'clock, the curtain goes up for up on this rock. And she will be, and each of the artists will be featured again within the production. Listen, what you being charged does not even equate mm -mm. what you're about yeah, to do. That's why I said mm -hmm. you need to get a double VIP seat, right? You get a go and get them up front. Uh, some Ooh. of the, the uh, and you're floor. sewing into the ministry. That's the other piece the of that. Exactly. Yes. For Forty years. Here's your way of saying we thank God for upon this rock. And, and pastor, and it's worth repeating that just because upon this rock the passion play experience will no longer be shown live. We will no longer do it live. That is the Up On This Rock Productions. We'll still do mini series along the way. That's right. All right, smaller, smaller, more, yes, um, performances of other plays and yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we're not going away. So what you sow into the ministry by purchasing your tickets, you're just helping us to continue on with the ministry of performing arts. Right. And again, uh, right there, you see it next to the QR code, the website where you can order your tickets now. Do it right now. Some yeah. sections are being sold out. But let me say this, because somebody called in and said, Somebody told me that that all the tickets were that you were sold out. We are not all sold out. There are certain sections on certain days. Yeah, I got one. Out. I got one of those too. Yeah. Yeah. So I know how the rumor mill goes. Uh, go online. As as they hear sold out. Open. Right. All right. UTRPro.com. And and while you're there, stop in our UTR store online. UTRPro.com. 
slash store. I just put it up on the screen. And we have all kinds of souvenirs for this final curtain call that you can take as a momentum in, re in remembering these, this 40 years experience of Upon This Rock, uh, all kind, a variety of kind. Now, everything on our online store will not be uh, available the weekend of production. There will be some select items available, but you can get any and everything you want from our uh, UTR store online, and it will be shipped directly to your home within seven home within days. Seven. So encourage you to do it. You might want to go ahead and get one of the UTR shirts. You see, I'm, I'm wearing one here. See the our special final curtain call logo, and we have different colors online. So make sure you go online and get it. All right, Sharon, it's been good. I'm it's been another one, another one. Forward that to was, the next That was one. great. And especially when these are uh, artists that we've never met before. We've only heard their music, but to see them living, breathing. Yes. Um, yes it it's, it's makes a difference. It makes it a does. difference. Let's hear so what I was people, so glad. Hear what a couple of people are saying about Up On This Rock. Upon This Rock Passion Play is just a must do during the Easter season. It's one of those things that is on my calendar annually. Um, I see it twice every year because um, I see it opening night and closing night just because it's a different experience every time you go. Um, the acting, the singing, the music, the dancing, it's just an extravaganza and the message is always so moving and touching and it just gives you a refreshing of what Christ did for us. It's something that I suggest everybody do at least once, um, but for the family or for yourself, it's just a great play, great play. And I can't wait to see it this year. Joy upon this rock 2016. I mean, it brought the Bible alive. I mean, I was spiritually mesmerized by the presence of the Holy Spirit, especially through the Jesus. This is my first experience with a black Jesus, and I was not disappointed. And God willing, I will be back, if I'm living, next year and bring a whole bus next time. Where are you from? Louisville, Kentucky. Thank you. <laughs> That's right. That's bus right. loads from all over. Ohio, Michigan, Kentucky, Illinois, and around. Mm -hmm. We've had buses as far away for, as, as Buffalo, New York that have come in. And I wouldn't be surprised if they make their final return on this yes. final It's yes. going to be good. It's just going to be good. Well, our time is up. And we thank you again for joining it's us. It's been good. It's been good. It's been good. Yes. Another segment mm -hmm. of Upon This Rock, Meet the Cast. Make sure you like and share and follow so you can be notified the next time we do another special uh, interview with Meet the Cast. Signing off. Have a blessed one. God bless. I will build, I will build my